Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today, I want to share on Luke chapter 15, the parable of the prodigal son. And I was thinking about this today. And I was just thinking about how the father, when the son, the younger son came to him and he said, give me my portion of my inheritance. The father didn't even argue with him or anything. He just gave it to him and let him go his way. And I mean, there's some, there's some deep things to really pull from this story, but I want to focus on this part today. Uh, 1524, after the son went out and, and did everything he did and he realized his mistakes, he came back to the father and the father was happy and ecstatic and had a, had a party for him. And then, um, and this is what he said. He says, for this, my son, was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. But what's amazing to me about this is that the father gave his younger son this inheritance and let him leave. And at that time, the son had chosen death. You know what I mean? And he allowed him to do that. He didn't even argue with him. And he even says, my son was dead. But now he's alive again. But there was an opportunity. There was a chance that his son would have never come back. You know what I'm trying to say? The, the fact that his son came back was, was, was reason to rejoice and be so merry because it wasn't guaranteed. If there was no guarantee that his son would return. But look at how the father deals with the son. He didn't beg him to stay. He didn't beg him to, to change his mind or, or, or tell him, you know, you're making a mistake. He just let him do it. He let him do it. The father gave him the choice. And he chose death. But then he realized how good he had it and came back to his father. But man, I don't know. To me, it's just amazing to see how God works with us. Like he allows us to even choose death. He allowed us to even choose death and even allowed us the freedom to not even return to him. And he's not out there chasing chasing us and, and doing that and but he's um patiently waiting our return if we return to him you know but there is a pursuit so i don't understand that but it was you know in my own life you know people were praying for me i know that and they and the spirit wouldn't let me go but i don't know so just just something to think about today you know that god will allow you to choose, uh, a, make a poor decision. He won't even try to convince you not to do it, but, and even will consider you to be dead. But then when you make the right choice and return to him, he freely receives you and gives you everything that is yours. It's amazing. But, be encouraged today. We, even if we choose death, there's always a father who's looking forward to our return. Amen.